Hey guys, good morning. Nitsan from MSDI here. Today I want to talk about a conversation I had yesterday with one of my dear friends in a very distant land. And we have a distribution there. And this friend told me, hey, you made so many mistakes in, in my country. And I tried to explain to him that as an entrepreneur, I'm making a lot of mistakes along the way. But without making those mistakes, I wouldn't be able to move forward, right? So that's got me thinking about the difference between an employee and an entrepreneur. The entrepreneur is taking risks, is an adventurer, right? Imagine yourself hiking in the woods and finding yourself in front of a big cave. You decide to enter that cave to find a big treasure chest full of gold and, and good, all the good stuff, right? But it's guarded by a big, big black bear. And, and this bear is huge. You, you can't chase him by yourself. So you go outside. You make a spear, you fight the bear, you don't harm the bear, you just chase him away, and you try to, to load the, the chest, but you don't have a cart, right? So you go outside, you make a cart, you go back, you load the chest, and as soon as you get outside the cave, you find yourself in front of a, a group of bandits, and they rob you. <laughs> they, they rob you clean, they take everything. Now you are left with nothing. That's the life of the entrepreneur. You take risks, you, um, you are an adventurer, you find yourself in tricky situations, but if you wouldn't take those risks, you wouldn't find the treasure chest. If you wouldn't find the treasure chest, well, you wouldn't find the bear or the bandits. And it doesn't matter what you're going to do, you're always going to be criticized by others. Some will tell you, wow, you're so lucky, you found a treasure chest. Amazing. Others will tell you, you're so stupid. You go alone to the woods, you find a big cave, you go inside, you fight a bear. Who are you? You're, you're stupid. So you're, you're always going to be criticized by others. And the life of an employee is so much different. You go to the office, you're going to get paid anyways. And your boss tells you, hey, listen, take a cart, take some pistols, take a spear. This is a map. Go to the woods, find the cave, find the bear, chase the bear. Take the chest, fight the bandits, bring back the chest here, okay? You're going to get told everything what you need to do. You're going to get paid anyways. And if you manage to succeed, you're going to get a bonus. That's the big difference between an employee and an entrepreneur, right? And, well, eventually, okay, an, empl an employee is going to get, is, is going to be, is being told what to do. And an entrepreneur needs to take those risks by himself or with his partners. So that got me thinking, right? If you want to become an entrepreneur, if you want to be an importer, if you want to distribute dental products, dental implants, then you need to think carefully if that's what's right for you. And if you decide to go through with that, you need good support behind you, you need good manufacturer, and that's where we come in. If you want to sell implants, you need good, reliable manufacturer behind you. Contact us and let's talk. See you guys. Take care.